Hello everyone, welcome to the channel. It's Rad, welcome to Rad Kutsarot and this is going to be Pisces Sun, Pisces Moon and uh, Pisces Rising. Weekly tarot reading, um, I, April 1st to April 6th, 2019. And uh, as I'm shuffling the cards, I want to remind you once again that this is going to be a, a general reading for Pisces star sign. And for that reason, uh, this reading is going to relate to different things and is going to resonate in a uh, different way for every single different Pisces. But should you uh, require more personal touch, meaning your personal situation to be analyzed by me through tarot and uh, to give you its unfoldment for its future, that is a subject for a, a private reading. And for such, you can check out uh, my website, which is listed down below in the description of this video. And there you are going to find a, a full list of my services as well as their pricings which are starting from just as little as $12 for the recorded readings and $15 for the uh, live call readings. So that being set aside, uh, moving to the general tarot reading for Pisces, the first card here, which marks the topic for you Pisces for the week, that is going to be the Four of Cups, followed by the second card, which is the negative approach toward the situation here, that is going to be the Six of Swords, then the third card that we do have it is the positive approach toward the situation that is going to be the Queen of Swords. And the last one, which is the final outcome of growth, should you follow the guidance of Tarot here, we do have the Nine of Cups. So once again, Four of Cups, it is the topic, then it is the Six of Swords, which is the negative approach toward the situation. After that, it is the Queen of Swords, which is the positive approach toward the situation. And the last one that is going to be the Nine of Cups, that is the final outcome of growth, should you follow the guidance of Tarot. So it does look like, guys, that you are to, uh, well, how, how can I put it into, uh, into words? You are to um, add something into your life, uh, which is to make you feel happy in general. But in order to do so, uh, it will require uh, from your behalf to be very calculative and to draw truly from a past experience of yours, especially a poignant experience that is. So the topic here, it is the Four of Cups, which points that there is in an awesome thing around you that is going to be a fine addition to your environment at that very point. But there is a danger you missing it. It is because you are way too indulged into the um, poignant experience from the past and generally thinking that you are either not good enough or that either you ain't going to be able to make it and therefore bailing out on the situation without the situation even manifest itself. That is just a version of interpretation. Or you can show truly a, a mental determination here, denying failure, denying as well um, this sense of that you are not capable enough trying a new and this time around being capable to make it. It all it is all about that. The Four of Cups has two manifestations. One is that nothing really happens and everything moves just as it is and no uh, difference is going to be made throughout the week or one really sober himself, one wakes up from their slumber and takes advantage of this awesome thing which is around that is going to be once again a fine addition here to what to whatever you already possess either relationship wise or either career wise the accompanied card that is to be the five of uh, swords so the um the combo here is a passive neutrals that is I'm sorry guys a bit tired here a lot of videos is that I, I, I recorded so we do have passive neutrals with these cards and it does look like that uh, within the framework of your current capabilities you are to find that you are not exerting properly or you are not taking advantage at all of either skill of yours opportunity of yours a means of yours a, a hidden ace of yours you know or, or like a hidden weapon and so on and so forth additionally to that these 
these cards here are pointing that what could obstruct you of taking advantage of this uh, new addition of this new opportunity around you is the opinion of others as well as the five of uh, swords kind of like a uh, expresses the negative attitude of the people toward your goal or toward the uh, the craving here to improve not just your circumstances but to fulfill yourself to make yourself whole and by you striving to please more others than to please yourself could make you miss this a a good uh, an opportunity or addition that it is presented to you. So instead of listening to what people think about you and about your endeavors, it is best to um, indulge yourself more with what you think of you and what you think that you can achieve. Because these cards here are pointing that one achievements can be just as high as one goes or as one dreams are. So uh, these cards are advising you to dream really big. And uh, the Four of Cups as well is this card where one needs a constant improvement. So this week it is where you are to realize that you are consuming the very final fruits of your previous labor and now a new goal needs to be placed in the framework of already existing enterprise, meaning new, new goal into your already existing job, new goal into your already existing relationship and so on and so forth. We are talking about sprawling on one, on one endeavor and on one, and of one enterprise rather than embarking on a, a brand, brand new parts of yours. So <clears throat> the second card here for you Pisces, it is the negative approach toward the situation and that is going to be the Six of Swords. So the Six of Swords tells us that you may be a bit scared to approach this addition. Uh, you may be uh, a, a bit of, um, how can I place it, reluctant to, uh, to take the risk so to, um, you know, to kind of like expand and sprawl your environment, while in reality there is no risk whatsoever. So how this card manifests is that if you uh, dare, you know, to hope and dream for more, then you are to jeopardize uh, your current possessions and your current blessings, which in reality is not true. Here the card urges you guys to truly overcome your fears and uh, fear, that is, and to trespass the threshold which is obstructing you to uh, make this new addition. And as we were talking about new addition, that could be addition of a child into one marriage, you know, additional project into one career where one is afraid to take on this project because one could think that they are not capable enough, you know, and as they show not capable enough, that could truly kind of like, um, um, weaken their their place into their career and so on and so forth while that's not the case you will have the time to make your research you will have the time to collect uh, your thoughts if you want to say it that way and to collect the resources necessary in order to push your things through but once again that will happen not without you uh, kind of like drawing from previous poignant experience. So it's very important that you have learned your lesson from previous mistakes. The accompanied card that is the Wheel of Fortune here. So it does look like that you will have a chance to pass on this, uh, on this edition. You will have a chance to just look away and pretend that nothing is happening. The combination here is active, uh, active friends and it seems that you can you know make a excuses for yourself not to indulge into this uh, new endeavor into this new project for example into your career or into just into into this enterprise that it's that is to sprout your relationship as well and doing so that is going to be also fine but it's uh, if you are very bored from the situation where you're finding yourself at and you do want really an, an improvement here, it is best not to make excuses, but jump straight away into action. And how you can do so, guys? Well, that is defined here by the Queen of Swords, which is the positive approach toward the situation. So what is the Queen of Swords? very um, experienced woman or very experienced person that is you guys that is you experienced from these lessons you have learned in the past determined not to make the same mistake once again 
very in tune with how the things are going, meaning emancipating and very aware of its surrounding. Therefore, you are for, forewarned and therefore forearmed. So pretty much there won't be anything to surprise you in any way. And whatever, um, it's not even an issue, but let's say a thing to tackle with appears, you will pretty much have the necessary uh, <clears throat> experience and as well the necessary means in order to overcome that thing. Basically what this card here says is that you should believe in yourself that you are more than capable to push your things through. Additionally to that, the uh, Queen of Swords is tightly related to health, meaning that uh, your health is likely to be improved. And if you feel that you do have some health issues, this card asks you to go to a doctor because the doctor is going to put a uh, accurate diagnosis to uh, to your condition. But um, Queen of Swords also relates to the rules of the game. It's very important to stick into that. So whatever rules your company have, you should not trespass them as well as the relationship. If we're talking about a, a relationship, it will be best to establish the rules straight away, um, which person or which one of you, what kind of responsibility is to take into that relationship. So there is no trespassing of each other's uh, boundaries here. The accompanied card, that is the death card. So uh, the formation here, it is a active neutrals. So it seems that you can uh, further something that usually could not have. Uh, being further. Uh, what I mean is that, <clears throat> let's say we're talking about career, right? I, that project, it was on the line for quite some time. One person attend to it, it failed. Another person attend to it, it failed. Third party attend to it, it failed. And now no one left to be to attend to the project apart from you and you are kind of like intimidated from all these fa failures of all of your coworkers. And this is where it comes this, that experience and self-confidence to know that you can push the things through. And actually the project which was, which was meant to fail now can be brought to the very end, meaning that you are going to make huge, huge impression into your career. So in this week, what it seems, guys, is that you can spend it really comfortable um, in a sense of not being initiative and just attend to your to your duties, whatever the duties are regarding relationship and regarding career and have the most normal and boring week in the world or you can sober yourself, look around yourself and see, you know, what you are not capitalizing on and put it as a fine addition to your arsenal of opportunities so you can take advantage of it moving on along with... Uh, <clears throat> with the lesson learned and with the vast amounts of uh, previous experience that you do have from poignant situations, being capable to push the things through and not being afraid to make an initiative. And should you do so, we do have the Nine of Cups. So what this card here points is that you are to have it all at the end. You know, it's, it's, uh, it's one of the follow-ups when the Nine of Cups appears where one truly feels the uh, sensation of one's achievement, when one feels that they finally made it and that they're more closer than ever to their uh, wish being fulfilled and for their satisfaction of life itself. Now, what you need to know, however, at that stage is that this card manifests itself as a huge milestone, but yet the grand achievement is far from over. From here, from, for you to try traverse this short-term success into a long-lasting one, you have to secure on this short-term success, meaning you should not give yourself a time to rest but even if it seems, even if that project um, seems secure, let's say, or even if that relationship seems sealed, that should not be a prerequisite for you to stop toiling, to stop toiling for it or to stop performing in it, that is. The accompanied card, it is the Two of Pentacles, so the formation is a passive um, friends and two of pentacles here adds a shade that you are going to um, 
have a lot of room to work with, a lot of, uh, how can I place it, a lot of options to work with as well. Uh, the good thing about this combination is that many plants are, uh, are uh, valuable at that point. I mean, we don't have only one way of how you can do things, but you get to choose how you should perform from now on, either into your relationship or either into your career. And these cards are indulging you to explore which way of you being uh, contributing into your relationship or into your career as well is the most enjoyable one for you. Uh, for what it seems after this week, you can enjoy a lot of uh, small changes and adaptations which are to happen around you that are going to further the fine addition to your environment and to your plants as well. And who knows, maybe uh, from one of those small changes, a, a big once in a lifetime, maybe change is to emerge for you. But what is important here to know in order to grasp on this, uh, on this opportunity is that you should abandon a, an established concept that uh, many people have or that the orthodox people have as well and you should go along with uh, with your playfulness all right and with your acute sense of adaptation which should be uh, closely tied and related to your previous experience meaning that you need to be able to manage i cannot say crisis i will say crisis for the for the lack of better words but you to manage situations as they go because sometimes you know things cannot happen by the book and it seems that this time around pisces you are to show yourself very very capable to manage these things uh, that are in a such situation where shit hits the fan and the ordinary to-go list does not work out and you are very fine and very thorough with your adaptations and with your adaptation according to the situation itself which needless to say is going to improve uh, you know the impression you have into your boss and is going to tremendously as well prove the sensation and the happiness that you can experience into your marriage or into your relationship as well. So that being said, guys, this was your weekly tarot reading for Pisces star sign, April 1st to April 6th, 2019. I hope you enjoyed it and you liked it. And once again, this was a general reading for Pisces star sign. And for that reason, the reading is going to relate to different things and is going to resonate in a different way with every single different Pisces. If you want a personal reading, meaning your personal life and situation to be analyzed by me through Tarot and to give you uh, what is going to happen with it in the future, that is um, a subject of a private reading. And for such, you can check out my website, which is listed down below in the description of this video. And there you are going to find a full list of my services as well as their pricing, which are starting from just as little as $12 for the recorded readings and $15 for the uh, private call readings. Rod signing out now. See you next time. Bye.